What's up, peers, and welcome back to the World Crypto Network. You're continuing our awesome series of the awesome cold card wallet with an in-depth guide on how you can use this beautiful hardware tool in order to protect your private keys in a very secure cold storage device. Uh, if you want to get your hands on the clicky buttons of a Mark II cold card, uh, then you can join the giveaway, but only if you are an open source contributor. Uh, so let us know which open source project you contribute to and why you really need to have the cold card and the clicky buttons uh, on Twitter. And you can uh, maybe get one of the 10 giveaway cold cards, uh, thanks to NDK and the World Crypto Network. Uh, yesterday, right, we've talked about the different pins uh, that you can have here in cold card uh, and the nuances and the details to the secure hardware uh, communication and hardware design, right, and, and different security trade-offs. Uh, so today, though, we will apply it uh, to actually set up for the four different types of wallets that you can do on your cold card. Uh, which is actually quite easy. So the main and the secondary wallet, as well as a duress wallet uh, for, well, <laughs> all the stuff that you need all the time. Okay, um, so we can now actually get into it. And in the main menu uh, right here, uh, all the way down, you can click on uh, settings and that will give you uh, several different options. And the fourth option is the pin options. And here you see, again, many different choices. The first is to change the main pin, uh, which if you want to change the, the one to your main hierarchical deterministic seed, uh, this is how you can change it here. Uh, there you also can open a secondary wallet, a duress pin, and the break me pin. Uh, and these are all the pins that we will set up now. Uh, first, of course, the secondary wallet. Uh, and now reading from the screen, the secondary pin. This pin protects the secondary wallet that can be used to segregate funds or other purposes. This wallet is completely independent of the primary. There is absolutely no way to recover a forgotten pin. Write it down. We strongly recommend that all pin codes used to be unique between each other. Uh, and best, of course, use dice or something random like this to uh, make sure that you have a random number. Uh, and use 9999999999. Uh, that sounds very crazy if you are German. Uh, nine. <laughs> but you can use this number combination uh, to clear uh, the existing pin um, if you would like to do that. Okay. So I have already diced out and written down uh, the different pins that I want to use. Uh, and now I can type in the prefix of the secondary pin, uh, which again, we always have here uh, a prefix and suffix. Uh, so this will give you different uh, than again, the two phishing uh, protection words. Um, for example, now I have two words that I also have to write down, which is these two. And mm -hmm, I'm not going to tell you, of course. Uh, okay. And now I can write down the prefix, or sorry, the suffix, the last part of the pin. Again, very smart to have these two different, or the two different parts. Uh, so even when you want to, uh, even if you have a wrong device in your hand, right, a clone, and then you uh, can be sure that you don't reveal your entire pin. Um, now, also, it has to, you have to verify it again by typing in the pin. Uh, let's see. Uh, and to check if the words are, again, the same for me here, it's now the case. Uh, and typing now in the prefix. Now, wait, the suffix. Oh, God, so difficult. The suffix uh, of the pin. Okay. And now it says saving and verify and done. Now we have generated a secondary wallet uh, on this device. Uh, and we can now enter this wallet uh, upon uh, plugging in this uh, cold card onto the power store or power supply. Uh, we can then put the secondary wallet pin in here and we have a complete new HD seat, uh, which is nice. Um, again, we are currently in the main pin uh, version. So we can also set up a duress wallet. And this duress wallet is within the HD structure of the main or secondary wallet. You can have a unique path, hierarchical deterministic path in the tree structure of the key setup uh, that will be used uh, in order to uh, save or a little bit of your funds. In case someone wants to steal from you, you can give them this honeypot of small Bitcoin. Right? Uh, so somewhat of a security feature here again. Uh, and for this now, duress wallet reading the text on the screen. 
the pin, this pin leads to a bogus wallet. Funds are recoverable from the main seed backup, but not as easily. There is absolutely no way to recover a forgotten pin. Write it down. We strongly recommend all pin codes used to be unique between each other. Uh, use 9999999999 to clear existing pins. Uh, so again, be careful with these pins. Uh, and again, this is not a new wallet, but a different key path uh, to the wallet. And you can recover that again most easily either with a official backup of this uh, entire cold card or uh, with the same cold card again and the pins. Okay, now we can uh, type in the pin here uh, for the uh, duress wallet, uh, which again, always make sure that you type in the correct pin um, and that you now write down the two words that it gives you. Uh, again, these words are really important uh, because it protects you against any, uh, well, how do you call it, uh, the, the maid attack, right? Where the maid uh, all of a sudden takes away your device and gives you a new fake one. Uh, this then would be how you can protect against that. Uh, so many types of adversaries, uh, and this is just a really cool way of, uh, again, protecting your precious, precious Satoshis. Uh, okay, now that we've typed it in once, we have to verify it again. Uh, so very exciting, Max typing in passwords uh, or pins. <laughs> uh, and again, best to do this offline, right? Uh, to sit in a room without microphones um, and not, not like this one, which picks up everything. So again, this will not be my main setup. I will do it again for myself uh, in a quiet room uh, offline completely with uh, just, yeah, take your time, take dice, make this correct. Uh, and don't stress it, right? Uh, this is very important. Again, saving, verifying, uh, and now then we have also set up the duress wallet in just a second, perfect. Uh, and now here we can in this duress wallet, which again, we access by unplugging, plugging back in, uh, and then typing in the duress wallet pin, which the one that we've set up now leads to the first wallet, right? Um, and then you can put your honeypot into this first wallet. But of course, you can also do the same for the secondary wallet, right? So if you first type in the pin of the secondary wallet, then you go into the settings. You can also set up a duress wallet for ex exactly the same as we did just now. Uh, and this, set, this duress wallet, which has been set up in the secondary wallet, will also then count as the secondary wallet duress uh, wallet. <laughs> so many different key paths that you can now choose here. Okay, so this is a very nice. Uh, honey pots are, uh, or might be a nice security feature. And again, you put it on there, it's your cold storage anyway. Uh, you can have one or two small UTXOs, um, good enough that it will take uh, shoo away the attackers, right? Um, and if you don't need it, it's still yours. You can at any time reclaim it and spend these funds as you would any other of your wallet, right? It is your own uh, mnemonic here and your own HD path. Very nice. And now to a very, very uh, risky and awesome uh, feature, the Brick Me pin. Um, the Brick Me pin destroys this hardware. Uh, it does what is hidden right here. Shoot this. <laughs> this is what it does, but on a software level. Uh, okay. Uh, so again, we've talked about this on, on the last video. Where this actually this deletes the entire secret keys on this device in the secure element. Irrevocably, they're gone. Poof. <laughs> so reading what's on the screen. Brick Me pin. Use of this special pin code at any point will destroy the cold card completely. It cannot be reused or salvaged and has the secrets is it held are it destroyed forever. Do not test this. There is absolutely no way to recover a forgotten pin. Write it down. We strongly recommend a pin code unique to be, <laughs> to be unique between each other. Use 9999999 to clear sign the pin, uh, the existing pin. Uh, so again, the brick me feature, really cool, makes this thing literally a brick, worthless piece of plastic. Uh, so this is for really destroying everything on here. And triple check uh, that you have a backup before doing that, because there is no way of getting your money back if you brick this device otherwise. Uh, you need to have your monomic seed, uh, even better, probably a proper backup file stored on one of their secure SD cards. And very, very important. Right? Because this is, again, complete obliviation. Nothing will be left. Uh, but hey, where, where's the fun in not having that? So again, we can uh, type in the pin 
uh, that we have uh, randomly diced us together. Uh, and now we will again get the two words, right? Uh, we'll, which will be unique for every cold card uh, and for every pin that you type in. Uh, so again, it uses some of the well, hashing and security algorith algorithms uh, to give you some of these uh, BIP37 word list uh, well, words. <laughs> so again, it's the Bitcoin Oracle. Uh, maybe you get some uh, awesome life lessons out of this uh, little randomness of your monomics and your phishing phrases, uh, because why not? Again, now we have to type in for the second time uh, to make sure that we actually have it written down properly. Uh, again, take your time. Uh, this is really important to do uh, and to take good care of it. Uh, check that, the uh, that you recognize these two words then it shows up. If yes, perfect. So, okay. Mm -hmm. Oop, no, I messed up. Okay, always write if you if you have typed something wrong, you can press the X button uh, and delete uh, something. But if you click it too often, it will abort the protocol. Uh, now it uh, again uh, difficult to do this, <laughs> but again, take your time. Perfect, okay, now I have it. <laughs> and saving, verifying, and now we have a break me pin, awesome. Uh, so if you catch me, and if you uh, put a $5 wrench at my uh, kneecaps, right, uh, then I will break the device, so don't even try. <laughs> okay, Pierce, this is it, this is how you can have different wallets, different duress wallets, uh, different break me pins uh, for your cold card. Uh, so again, to summarize, the very first pin that you set is your main pin. And this is really the, the uh, master pin. Uh, so you need this to do all of the very advanced settings, okay? But you can have then within the master pin, a, a duress uh, pin, which will lead to within the same master secret and monomic to a different HD path. And you can use that to have, for example, the duress me honeypot, right? Uh, or just maybe use it as a secondary wallet for yourself, right? Uh, but if you want to have a completely separated wallet with new monomic words, with a new master HD secret, then you use the secondary pin, uh, which will give you a complete new uh, device or new monomic uh, seat and seat. Uh, and within that secondary wallet that, again, you can access via typing the pin at first restart, uh, then you can also go into or generate a duress wallet, which will again be within the secondary wallet monomic master seed. Uh, we will have then a different HD path that leads to that duress wallet. So in total, four active wallets that you can use uh, and that you can access via four different pins that are each six-digit suffix uh, or prefix and six-digit suffix uh, with the two phishing words in between. That is awesome, awesome security. And of course, if, if shit hits the fan and you really need to destroy everything on here, uh, do it in a two-step way. Generate a prick me pin, right? And then use the prick me pin uh, to completely wipe out the software part of all your keys. And then in advance, shoot this right here. This here is the uh, secure element that has all the secret parts. Uh, so shoot this and then it will be completely obliterated twice over on the software and on the hardware side. Uh, and I mean, why not shoot a cold card? Uh, it's a perfect device to do so. <laughs> Pierce, thank you very much here for joining this call uh, today on how you can use the different pins. Uh, of course, you're on the World Crypto Network. As we mentioned earlier, if you would like to get your hands on the clicky buttons of the cold card, uh, you can join us here in the giveaway event of the World Crypto Network and cold card. And if you are supporting an open source project, uh, then you can get your hands on them by just telling us which open source project it is uh, and also telling us why you need to have this awesome cold card wallet. Uh, Piers, thank you very much for joining me here today. I'll see you on the next show. Bye-bye.